of course I'd heard of lung cancer and uh, prostate cancer and uh, breast cancer like everybody else, but never ever heard of NEC. It was just not on the radar. I mean, as it was described to me, it was like the equivalent of being hit by lightning. They're the sort of odds. Neuroendocrine tumours are tumours that can arise uh, from different organs in the body, including the gut, the stomach, the pancreas, but also in the lungs and other organs. Neuroendocrine carcinomas are a very small group of neuroendocrine tumours, and they're very rare. Someone with a very low-grade neuroendocrine tumour can live for many years. In fact, we not uncommonly see people live for more than 10 years. With neuroendocrine carcinoma, however, the statistics are much worse. The NABNEC study is a national clinical trial. Not only are we going to treat people with new treatment, but we're also going to use the opportunity to try to study their disease and study the tumour tissue as well. Any patients with a newly diagnosed neuroendocrine carcinoma is eligible. We really hope that we can cure this disease and that we don't have to um, treat people with advanced disease. It's really important to have people know what this is and to understand it and to actually start treatment as soon as possible. I feel that I'm doing something not just for me but for the future. If we can understand the keys to how these cancer cells grow, then that's where we can start thinking about curing these cancers. <laughs>